Hello kids. Let's learn about factors and multiples in this video. As we learned in the previous lesson, some numbers can be represented in the form of a rectangle. For example, number 6 can be written as a multiple of 2 and 3. Therefore, 2 and 3 are the factors of 6. Factors of a number can also be understood as the number that divides the numbers without leaving a remainder. Factors of the number can divide the number into equal parts. For example, 6 can be divided into 2 or 3 equal parts. Therefore, 2 and 3 are the factors of 6. A number can be written as a product of two numbers in different ways. For example, 12 can be expressed as 3 multiply by 4, and 2 multiply by 6. Hence 2, 3, 4, and 6 are factors of 12. As we already know, all numbers can be arranged in a line. That means a number can be written as a multiple of 1 and the number itself. Therefore, the number 1 is the factor of every number. Also, the biggest factor of a number is always the number itself. Let's find out the possible factors of a number. Take the example of 18. Draw a curve line, and write 1 and 18 at the ends. Find out the smallest divisor of 18, it's 2. Draw another curve line and write 2 at the end. Divide 18 by 2 and write quotient 9 at the other end. Repeat the same process for the next divisor 3. The next divisor of 18 after 3 is 6, which we have already considered in the diagram. We can stop the division now. Hence, factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. The factor diagram shows that we can arrange the number 18 in three different rectangles. Let's learn about multiples now. Multiples of a number are the result of multiplying a number by a whole number. For example, multiple of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. 